My name is Peter Fox. I'm a professor in the departments of radiology, psychiatry, neurology, and physiology, and I direct the Research Imaging Institute. My area of research is in imaging technology development. I had a lot of math and physics as an undergraduate, and this has given me an opportunity to put that to use in my research. So mostly I develop new ways of acquiring image data and of analyzing image data to study the physiology of organs, particularly the brain, but not exclusively the brain. Imaging research is very complicated, very quantitative, it's quite difficult. Uh, but we need many people that do imaging research. And so what I consider a real success is seeing somebody that I trained go on to a lifetime of teaching and using research imaging techniques. I do a lot of imaging methods development. And so although I started out working mostly in neurologic disorders, I've moved on to developmental disorders, so I've worked in autism, I've worked in stuttering, um, I've moved into psychiatric disorders, so I've done work in many different psychiatric disorders. I'm funded now to do post-traumatic stress disorder research, and people even in working in other organ systems that have seen the work and asked me to help them develop methods for liver imaging, for cardiac imaging, for kidney imaging. Um, so. I really get to work in a lot of areas beyond my medical specialty. Teaching is one of the most enjoyable parts of my position. I get to teach people at multiple different levels. I teach doctoral students who are getting their PhDs, mostly in medical physics. I teach MD-PhDs, so students that are getting both an MD degree and getting a PhD at the same time. I teach residents who are getting PhDs in the radiology department, and I teach faculty. I've been able to mentor many faculty in the use of research imaging techniques. So I was trained at some pretty high-level institutions and have worked with medical students, graduate students, and residents at really the, the highest level. And the Health Science Center in San Antonio is really um, at that level. And we have a diversity which is really very constructive for research. So we have a graduate program in biomedical sciences, we have a medical physics program, we have an outstanding MD-PhD program. And so the level of talent that I get in my trainees is really unprecedented.